David Brown. I'm the President and CEO of the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce. I'm Nathan Freheim. I'm co-founder of the Startup Collaborative. I'm Erica Wassinger, one of the co-founders of the Startup Collaborative. I think the biggest win in the startup ecosystem is the Startup Collaborative itself. You know, the merger of the incubator, the Omaha Startup Collaborative, and the Chamber's role in marrying the corporate community with entrepreneurship and startups and then the straight chat accelerator which is that acceleration process and then combining those things together into a unified source where we know what services we're providing we can link those things together i think that's really the, the news of the startup world for for this year the startup collaborative is here and able to make it easier for companies to get started when I think specifically about the wins for the startup collaborative I'm most proud of the fact that I see dozens of entrepreneurs each month coming into our system working through the methodology starting up taking risks and maybe the best thing for me is that I didn't know these people last year or the year before it's not the usual suspects it's people that uh, had an idea that had been sitting on it for a while and realized that there's no better time to start up in November 15 entrepreneurs stepped forward. 15 brave men and women that had concepts and need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of accountability, a little bit of help to marshal forward. We follow that up in November and December with another 25 brave men and women. The momentum is building. There's never been a better time. It's awe-inspiring. Just the fact that there's really simple, definable steps to prove that you have product market fit is something compelling, not just to our entrepreneurs and our fellows in the program, but to the venture capital community across the Midwest and across the country. You know, the reason it's competitive advantage really comes down to a combination of our people, which everyone talks about, the hard work ethic, the commitment to this place, the passion they have for this region. And I think the, ability, the willingness for people to partner, whether it's philanthropists and corporations and government or some combination thereof, people willing to partner in order to make great things happen. That's a unique attribute that Omaha has that a lot of other places can't count on. We have such a deep bench of corporate strength here and we have such a deep bench of entrepreneurial strength. The fact that the two are communicating and working in tandem together and showing each other that equal respect that they warrant and deserve is really such a win for all of us, I think. All right, so you're probably wondering, why now, why here? First thing I say to that is, just begun is half done. Second thing I'd say to that is, as an entrepreneur, you have the capability of making the rules, not following the rules. And once you've done that, once you've lived in that world, you'll never go back.